Hi folks! I've just finished grading your very first timed online Moodle quizzes and uh, that worked well. So you should be able to now go on to Moodle at the end of chapter 12 in Greek and see, click through and see the results of your quiz um, for chapter 12. But some of you asked me, could we please go over, because you had trouble on just the translation bit, and some of you asked me, could we please go over the translation together, as we would normally be able to do in class. So we will do that. Um, here was your sentence that you had to translate uh, in Greek. So can you see that? There. Um, hey, I'm reading it backwards on the screen. Hey, Gune, Apen. Pater, Timmy, Akoluthesomen. Oh, there's a question mark. Hey, Gune, Apen. Pater, Timmy, Akoluthesomen. Remata Zoes, Ekes. And just like pretty much every other test this year, Chapter 12 was no exception. I made a typo on the test. I spelled Zoace wrong, uh, but you all seem to get it right anyway. Zoace takes an omega, not an omicron. I'm sorry about that. But So there's your sentence that you all had to translate. And the trickiest part seems to have been that great big long verb in the middle. So here's the spoiler. This is what it says in English. The woman or wife, it could be either because it's really the same word in Greek and they don't distinguish as much as we would. So the woman or the wife said, Father, whom shall or who, who will or whom will we follow? Question. You have words of life. So that was the correct answer. But how did we get that answer? Some what like this. So first of all, the first thing you confronted was hey gune. And that's one of those third declension nouns that we've just done. And as we know, your definite article there is a huge help if you don't recognize the ending of a noun. If you've got your definite article chart memorized, then you know whatever this word is, it's gonna it's got to match this definite article so that's feminine nominative singular so the woman so that's gonna be the subject of our sentence that's who's doing the action here so the woman a pen said a pen in the chapter before we learned about the second aorist where the aorist isn't formed by normal endings but rather it's formed by a stem change and the stem change can be quite drastic so all of you got this right and knew that the verb lego I say changes really drastically and looks like this in the in the past tense so a pen is just from lego it's a second aorist meaning said a third person singular so the woman said, and here's what she said, pater, which just means father. Some people put mother, oops, close, good guess. Tinny, which is from tis, we just did tis and t, and we learned that the accents really matter with tis and t and all of the declensions of, of them, because if it has an accent, it's an interrogative. So it's a question uh, pronoun. And if it doesn't have an accent, then it's just um, an indefinite pro pronoun, like someone, who, that. Um. So here it does have the accent. So we know that it's a question pronoun, an interrogative. And we happen to know from the ending that it's dative. So normally, tinny, with the with the accent would be translated which some of you did to whom but let's keep going because that dative has a different explanation in this case this big long verb 
Akoluthesamen. Half of you guessed it was from Akuo, which is I hear, but it's actually from Akolutheo, which means I follow. So you got that partially right if you kind of parsed it correctly, but but Akolutheisamen. Every time you see Amen, you think you got to think it's probably going to be we. So it's going to be first person plural usually if you see almond. So it's we, follow, but what tense is it in? Hmm. Look at this sigma. Akolutheo. Akolute salmon. It's got a sigma, but it doesn't have an augment. So what does that sigma tell you? It's future. So we will follow or we shall follow. And here's a question mark. So this is to whom we shall follow. That doesn't make sense in English. To whom we shall follow? Oh, this is one of those verbs that causes a certain case. In fact, akalutheo takes the dative. That's why tinny is showing up. That's why who is in the dative tense because this verb requires it. So all of that together says, Father, who will we follow? We will follow whom? Who will we follow? And then the answer, uh, or the rest of the quotation that the woman said, Remata zoes eches. Now, right away, you should have noticed this is an easy word. We did it long ago the beginning. It's just echo. And it's just the present tense. Echo, ekes, eke, ekamen, eketa, ekusen. Echo, ekase. So it's second person singular. So echo means I have, ekase means you have. So probably it's referring to father, this person she's calling father. You have. So what does the father have? Remata. That's a plural of rhema. It's another one of those third declension nouns. Um, so remata is, it's a neuter. It's accusative. Perfect. After a case, you have something. This is in the accusative, so this is what the person has. Remata. It's accusative plural. So if rema means a word or a saying, then remata means words or sayings. So you have words, zoes. Zoe means life. Ace is a genitive ending. So of life. You have words of life. So that was your sentence from the chapter 12 quiz. Here it is again in the Greek. Hey gune apen. Pater. Timi akolutheisomen. Remata zoes a case. Um, so congratulations on doing well on your very first Moodle quiz. And that's all for now. Stay tuned for very shortly when I will upload information about what we're doing next. Jeremy Duff, Elements of New Testament Greek, Chapter 13. See you very soon with that. Bye for now.